Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and tonight I'm going to show you how to do a quick um, stare using the Complex Profile tool. Um, now, I know the stare tool in ArchiCAD is not the uh, greatest thing, so there's a lot of people who will just kind of work with it, and um, you know, it does work, but it's not perfect. Um, I instead have abandoned that tool pretty much, and instead do this complex profile trick, which I think is um, fast, makes a very pretty stare in section. Um, is the one caveat I will say is that you have to do a 2D workaround on the plan. But at the end of this video, I'll hopefully remember to show you um, a, a very quick trick, which I'm very happy with for plans, um, for stairs on plan. And uh, it's actually in some ways. Um, it's it's very great for early schematic development as well. So what we're going to end up with is a complex profile that looks like this. Um, so to get there, and just move over here. First thing to do is set up a jig and figure out your stair. Um, this could be done initially with fills, but I'm going to just do it with lines. Um, so here I have it set up. I will recreate that. The first thing to do is figure out the number of risers. So let's say it's 15. I don't know if that's correct, but we're just gonna, gonna guess here for a second. Um, so I've arrayed that out. I'm gonna now measure that, see what it is. 6, thir six and 13 sixteenths. So that's, we can do better than that. So I'm gonna delete a, one of the lines, select those. Now if we go to edit, uh, distribute along Y, we're gonna realign those. Um, and now I will measure that seven and a quarter. Let's say that's good. Uh, I will now draw a stair. Let's say uh, ten inches, oh, ten inches by seven inches. So that's going to be our kind of module that that fits there. So we could then you know array those out, or at this point just go straight to the fill tool. I make my tread. Um, and make my riser offset that copy that down and I probably should I'm not going to talk as much as I might usually do Come on. cancel um, so we can get this arrayed out Um, for illustrative purposes, let's just say that's our stair. Uh, so those, we got the treads down. Now we're going to make the stringer. Let's say it's a uh, eleven and a quarter. Actually, messed up. But we'll just uh, we'll just delete that and work with it. So 11 and a quarter, what I should have done is drawn um, kind of lines to box in that fill. So now if I select the fill tool, um, I can magic wand that in. So here's here's our stair. Uh, one thing else I need to do is make sure these treads are not the same fill. Or sorry, the risers are not the same fill as the treads. Otherwise, they'll merge in the complex profile. So I've let's delete all this garbage now because we don't need any of that except the fills. So now what I have here is uh, I'm kind of over deleting things here. Stringer, treads, risers. Uh, but right now it doesn't match my um, standards, but that's okay. We're going to copy that in. Uh, we're going to create a new stair. Place that. Lost the origin point. There it is. Um, I'll decide I'm going to st start this there. Um, maybe this has some chipboard on the bottom. I'm going to choose that. Cut that off. Okay, so here's our stair, but we want to 
do the uniform profile contours to override that. If we override it right now, what's going to happen is we've got that um, heavy line here and heavy line there, but I want that to be a nice light pink line. Um, so like I did in the other video you may have just watched, I'm going to create a dummy fill uh, over that and over that. Click override. I delete that dummy fill. So now we've got fills that look just the way we want. So this now is ready to extrude on plan. Um, I'll just call it new profile, it's fine. Um, if we go to the plan, made it a wall. You can also do this with a, a beam. Um, there's kind of some little benefits to each version. Uh, where's my new profile? So there's our stair. It even actually looks pretty good in plan. Uh, jump to 3D. There it is, pretty quick. And in sections, it's going to look like just like that. Um, so a couple of tricks. I'm going to go to the stairs I've actually done for this project. I use the beam tool for that, for the stair. Um, you notice the origin point is right here. I'm going to select this, hit copy, uh, go to the lower run, hit paste. You notice the origin point for the top and bottom run are the same, which means once I place one of these stairs, I can copy it in plan. Let's find that. Um, I think here's the two pieces. I can copy in plan, change the complex profile, um, and they will sync up properly. I'll show you that. So here's the, the two stairs I've made the landing separately. Um, if this were the upper or the lower, it's just kind of moving up and down and, and proper in space. So that's the basics of making a, a very quick stair that, um, in my estimation, looks pretty nice um, in section. This, this project even is, is pretty early in development, so um, there's still some things that could be refined a little bit you know, like adding beams and cleaning up some intersections, making sure that works properly. Um, so to, to deal with making that look good in plan, here's the stair in plan. Um, it's very clean. And how that's done is it's a fill. And instead of drawing each individual stair, which is a really slow workaround, what I want, if I can't have the symbol um, or the object be 3D and 2D, I want a very, very quick, easy to manage 2D workaround. So what I use is a fill that has um, a line every 10 inches, 12 inches, 11 inches, whatever the tread depth of the stair is. So that means the stair is a, is a 10 inch nosing to nosing. So this fill, I can just stretch back and forth 10 inches, um, which makes the stair, um, this trick very great for laying out a stair. If early on you know it's uh, 10 inch tread and you know you've got, say, nine treads, you can just make a fill that's 90 inches long. Um, and there you go. Think out. Oh, well, it's another tread. It's another tread. You just add that. You want the cut line. Just move it back. You know, a certain number of treads, and you got that all set up. So again, it's not one object in 2D and 3D. Um, I admit it is a workaround, but I think it's a pretty smart workaround, and it's a pretty cool trick. So I um, hope you learned something interested, and I will um, have some more videos for you soon. Thanks.